When it comes to omega-3s, people with a, a vegan or vegetarian diet, are they often deficient since we thought, you know, it just came from animal sources? Right. Okay. So there are other alternative sources for omega-3 okay. uh, from plants. Uh, chia seed, for instance, uh, uh, etc. Uh, these sources are short chain PUFAs, okay? It's called ALA, for instance, okay? They need to be metabolized in the human body to EPA and DHA, which is the long chain PUFAs. The rate of this metabolism is 5%. So you need to eat to get 20 times more ALA to get the same benefit of EPA and DHA. 15% of the population do not have the enzymes to convert ALA to EPA and DHA. So, uh, again, I think it could be potentially a severe deficiency, and uh, especially with the rise in omega-6 um, amount in our diet, omega-6 to omega-3 ratio is of, of interest. Omega-6 is inflammatory, and you want to make sure that the balance of 6 and 3 is balanced. Uh, so, yeah, it is a concern. Um, one of the interesting markets uh, on this topic is India. There's a majority of vegetarians. They would rather uh, eat uh, or get their omega-3 from vegetarian sources. And uh, it's just an example. But I think uh, even for the same guy that wants a healthy steak in the end of the day, he would prefer to get his omega-3s from the source and not from his third and th fourth hand. Sure. So I think it's, it's not exclusive uh, for vegetarian mm -hmm. people.